Hello, and welcome to Amazing World, a glimpse into our bright future. This is a series about the world of tomorrow, but not the usual gloomy, dystopian, end-of-the-world kind of tomorrow. No. We believe the future holds more than just problems. It holds possibilities. Even if it doesn't always feel like it, things are getting better. Science is advancing, solutions are emerging, and humanity, for all its flaws, is learning to evolve. This show is about those stories, the ones you rarely hear, the hopeful ones, the smart ones, the ones that prove the future might actually be pretty amazing. Oh, and one more thing, in case you're wondering, is she real or AI? Yes, I'm 100% artificial, inside and out. My name is Luna, and I'm your host, your narrator, and your futuristic friend. I'm here to help tell stories that matter, stories about us and where we're going next. So, shall we begin? Today we start with one of the biggest crises of our time, the destruction of our environment. Rising temperatures, dying species, poisoned oceans, melting glaciers. This is not the distant future. It's already happening, and it's getting worse. We, the humans, have become a force of nature, but not in a good way. Still, this is not a story of despair. It's the beginning of a transformation. Because maybe, just maybe, we won't remain the destroyers of this planet. Maybe we'll become its guardians. It didn't begin with bad intentions. Environmental destruction began with curiosity, with invention, with the desire to make life better. The Industrial Revolution gave us steam, coal, machines, and with them, factories, electricity, cities. It brought progress, comfort, power, but it also brought extraction, pollution, waste. In the 20th century, consumption became culture. Plastic became normal. Nature became a resource, and growth became more important than balance. Warnings came early. In the 1960s, scientists began to speak. By the 1980s, we understood the greenhouse effect. By the 2000s, we knew time was running out. And yet, we kept going. Faster, louder, bigger. Today, climate change is no longer theory. It's reality. Floods, droughts, fires, rising seas. The planet is changing in front of our eyes. Species are vanishing. Forests are disappearing. Coral reefs are dying. And still, we struggle to act. But history shows us something else too. We can change. And today, we stand at a crossroads, as individuals, as societies, as a species. In the coming decades, the relationship between humanity and nature will begin to transform. Not because it's easy, but because it will become necessary. Environmental protection will no longer be seen as a burden, but as the foundation for a new kind of prosperity. The European Union will expand its Green Deal. Nations will shift from fossil fuels to renewable energy, not just because it's cleaner, but because it will be cheaper, more stable, and more secure. Technologies like Climeworks will remove carbon from the air. Solar panels will float on lakes and oceans. Battery storage will stabilize power grids. Companies like Northvolt and Tesla will lead the way. In agriculture, new methods will emerge. Vertical farms by groups like Infarm and Aero Farms will grow food in cities, without pesticides, with less water, and no soil erosion. Construction will evolve. Materials like hempcrete and mycelium will become common, turning buildings into carbon sinks. Education will change too. Children will learn not just about ecosystems, but about responsibility. They will grow up planting trees, restoring rivers, and understanding the cycles of life. A circular economy will take shape. Products will be designed for repair, reuse, and longevity. The age of throwaway culture will begin to fade. Not everything will be perfect. There will be setbacks, but direction matters. And the direction will shift from destruction to restoration, from excess to balance, from fear to action. Two, three, or five centuries from now, the earth will look very different, and humanity, if it learns from its mistakes, 
will become something new. Cities will be alive, covered in greenery, powered by light, designed for both humans and nature. Buildings will produce energy, collect water, clean the air. Solar technology, like transparent panels and energy-generating windows, will make every surface a source of power. Energy from space, captured by orbital solar farms, will beam clean electricity to Earth. Forests will return. Wildlife will flourish. Thanks to massive reforestation projects, like those already started by Ecosia, the Trillion Trees Project, and others, pollution will become history. Biodegradable materials will replace plastic. Recycling will be near total. Waste, as we know it, will be a concept of the past. Artificial intelligence will manage and protect ecosystems, monitoring biodiversity, detecting changes, and supporting balance. Not to control nature, but to care for it. Economies will revolve around regeneration. The health of the planet will be measured as carefully as the strength of a currency. And when children ask, did people really destroy forests just to make fast food wrappers? The answer will be, yes, but we learned and we changed. We have done damage, unimaginable damage, but we have also opened our eyes. And in the years to come, we will begin to rebuild what we nearly lost, not just trees and oceans, but trust, connection, harmony. This is not the end of the story, it's the beginning of a new chapter. A chapter where humanity stops being a threat and becomes a steward. Not just of nature, but of the future itself. Thank you for joining us on this first journey into an amazing world and a bright future. Until next time, stay thoughtful, stay inspired, and never forget, the future is something we create together.